Hey, what up? This is Ray here. Real motherfucker back again with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate everyone. And don't forget to like this video. It really helps me a lot. I appreciate it. Visit my site. It's paradoxastrology.com. I offer personal consultations for everyone and I can help you with anything. Let's get into this video. So I want to talk about Aleister Crowley because I have completely different views about him since I've studied the occult. When you first start studying the occult, you're going to look at like his books and you're going to be like super amazed. Like how did this guy must have been a genius? How did he know all of this? But once you start studying the occult and then you study um, astrology and you actually study this, you're going to see how basic what he was, was say what he was saying. And it's all very copied information from Buddhism, from all the teachings of the East. And then you start understanding really what he was about. And you understand, then you start understanding reincarnation and which is even deeper than that. So a lot of people push this narrative, like when they're kind of surface level of the occult, you see that like people posting about Aleister Crowley and stuff like that. And, and then because they're kind of like, oh, the occult is real and, and stuff, but they don't understand there's different levels to this. Like there's different, there are good people and there are bad people. It's just, it doesn't mean everybody in the cult is, is, is good or bad. So I want to talk about this. A lot of people who start waking up and understanding what's happening in the world, they want to somehow go stop these people. Even if you were to be violent with them, I'm not, not saying to be violent with anyone, but even if you were to off somebody, yeah, there's nothing that you can really do about their reincarnations. <laughs> um, so a lot of these people, most people who have been on earth and they study the occult, they get to a level that they're able to purposely reincarnate into a body. And when you, that's always been the, the number one sought after thing when it comes to people studying the occult is like, okay, well, how am, once you learn everything, well, it's impossible to learn everything, but you know what I mean? Once you've learned a lot, you're like, well, how, how can I not be asleep next time? Because I know I have to come back. Like, how can I stay awake? And, and then they find ways to do that. Now, Aleister Crowley has many reincarnations that we know about. And this is in the book, The Code to the Matrix by um, Seven Bomar. And he talks about this. Now, do I know this 100% uh, true or not? No, I don't know because I don't know him. And um, I'm always wary of people that I don't know. But he has, uh, Seven has really shown that he is very um, knowledgeable and truthful. So, but still, we will never really know. But it is fun to look at. And so... He was talking about how the beast is reincarnated. The beast, uh, Alistair Crowley, how he goes by, is is the reincarnation of first Jack Parsons. Jack Parsons was the creator of the nuclear bomb, and he was also a Satanist. Now, I'm not blaming all. I'm not blaming Satanists because I do know a lot of good people who are Satanists. I've talked to Satanists and um, it's kind of there's different levels of different things as we know it's it's like saying that every celebrity is like corrupt and like a lot of people they don't know what they're into it's just like saying every Christian it's just like you can't you can't put a label on people everybody's individual and that's their choice to believe in what they believe but they're not doing any harm like they're Satanists who are actually um just about philosophy and stuff like that, that just talk about philosophy, talk about spirituality and things like that. So that's why a lot of conspiracy theories, they always lump everybody in. We can't do that. But he was known as a Satanist because he wasn't bad because he was a Satanist. He was just bad because of who he is. He also became the other reincarnation. He came back as Albert Pike, who was a 33rd degree Mason. And he was responsible for bringing new forms of corrupted brotherhood to the West. And of course, then there was, then he became Crowley and um, Crowley was the one who set Leviathan free, the energy of Leviathan. We can talk about that. I'll probably make a video about that after. So it's interesting when you kind of look at his different incarnations, which are done purposely, and he decided to come back as these people. And one of them being a Freemason, and one of them being a Satanist. As a lot of people know, Aleister Crowley, when he was that incarnation, was responsible for Basically, the formation of Hollywood using the occult, how it is right now. And that's why you see a lot of artists using the occult now because of that. And 
they're well they're getting brainwashed they don't know how to use the occult for them they're actually slaves and so that's the reason why you have to really study the occult and understand what you're dealing with and people say oh you know the elites we shouldn't call them elites but that's the only way i know how you guys are going to understand what i'm saying is like oh they're stupid they don't know what they're doing they it's like you, you don't understand. This has been happening for, for hundreds and hundreds of centuries. This has been happening forever, where they have the ability to just keep reincarnating. And the thing about reincarnation is, is really odd, as Seven talks about this too. Because of the time lap, your grandmother or your grandparents could actually be you. Let that sink in. I made a video about that, about same souls coming in, people who have the same souls, who have the same body. There's so much stuff that we don't realize. So it's the same with celebrities too. Why do people stay at the top? Well, a lot of people just reincarnate. And when you reincarnate into the same family, which you always do, you end up, you keep helping the ancestors grow generations to generations because you understand the importance of the family lineage. The average person has no idea this is going on and they don't even believe it because they only believe what they see and they haven't done research on this. But um, this is a very known thing that happens. Some people actually say that Aleister Crowley is reincarnated again and I forget the person's name that they said that they are currently living but I'm sure these people reincarnate and they are still here. The only reason they wouldn't be here is a time lag and so if you think about people that you fear keep reincarnating it's like you're gonna have to actually start looking into yourself and and realizing and finding the information and in educating yourself and how you can become powerful because you're not, there's nothing you could do against people who are reincarnating <laughs> unless you start understanding how you can do it and how you can never forget the information you have. I just thought that was interesting. Anyways, I love y'all and we have a